What's up everybody, Luigi here, and with Halloween coming up, I figured I would get an early start and play this game by Data East. It's Night Slashers, it's supposed to be like a retro styled horror beat em up game. And I haven't played a beat em up game since like Streets of Rage 4, Ninja Turtles, so I just thought I would check this out and see if it was cool. And before I get started with this video, I just wanted to give a special shout out to all the lovely ladies out there because we are now at 19% wham in viewership. And that means a lot to me because I know I'm one of the sexiest YouTubers out there. There's no denying that. It just took the algorithm a while to find the women, I guess. But I think that's pretty epic because for the longest time, I swear it was like 0.2 or something low. And I was like, man, this sucks. I was like, what is going on, YouTube? But now I just want to say thank you to the ladies and thank you to everybody else. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that button, hit that like button, and let's try this game out. All right, in this game, you can play as Christopher, Jake, or Hong. And I'm going to choose her because all you lovely ladies are showing me love and support on my channel. And I finally got some female viewers. And I want to keep you, so I'm going to choose her. And just disregard that credit 69 thing down at the bottom. I don't know what that is or how that even got there. I, I swear I don't. Destroy all zombies and mutants in the hospital. That's pretty cool. I'll just start out running over everybody. I wish I could do that the whole game. All right, now I gotta... Did I just one punch his head off? I gotta get used to the uh, controls. Just a random gold bar just laying about in the hospital. I wish uh, that could happen to me in real life. But yeah, I thought I would uh, start playing some spoopy games. I'm not going to play a bunch of spoopy games right now, but I thought I would go ahead and get started because Halloween is my favorite time of the year. I love the fall time because it's not too hot. It's not too cold. You got pumpkins, you got bats, you got spooky stuff. And goth women, I love the goth women. I'm not going to lie there. But, um, but fall is my favorite time of the year, dude. I just love it. And I am getting my butt kicked in this game, I do believe. I don't know what I just had, but I threw it. <laughs> I thought I was hit, gonna hit the guy on the bed. Okay, I thought I would push another button because I was getting uh, beat up there. I guess it worked out. Hope you can read fast, because I was trying to read that, and it like went off the screen before I got a chance to read it all. I'll have to like go back and pause that, actually. Okay, shouldn't this guy be on my side when he's fighting a zombie? I'm just saying. No! Well, I don't have uh, that many lives. Stop it! I don't have that many lives, so I do have a bunch of continues, so... This is an arcade game, just so you're you're wondering. I'm actually playing on the Nintendo Switch, but arcade games, you know, you can pump like all the quarters in it, so. I did the 69 thing as a meme because I never grow up. I always stay young, so I had to do that. Uh, that's the monster. So was that guy that I was fighting back there Frankenstein? I know a lot of people call the monster Frankenstein, so. Yeah, the, the words don't stay up there for very long, I noticed. But you can call him Frankenstein, or you can call him the monster, whatever. A lot of people uh, call him uh, Frankenstein. But I believe I fought Frankenstein back there. This is Frankenstein's monster, I would say. Seems like uh, you take a lot of damage in this game. Plus, I'm new to it, so I'm, I'm going to get my butt beat. Oh, that is cool. I stuck him in the ground. So, is there like two bosses uh, per stage, I wonder? Is this the end of this level? Okay, it didn't seem like the level was too long. Um... 
but I did have to fight two bosses. Yeah, I'm not clicking the buttons. It's just kind of moving kind of fast for uh, trying to read everything there. Oh, what? I thought that for some reason that bat was going to help me or something since it come out of a barrel. Okay, that's like a super zombie. It took a while to beat. So I got to be careful. Some barrels might have to... I was wondering what was happening. I couldn't punch that guy at first. He transformed to a werewolf. There's a fire guy? What is happening here? That's my special. I don't know how many of those I get or whatever, but I figured I would use it just because there's a lot of enemies out there. Is this another boss already? What's happening? Oh, this is cool. I gotta, like, chase it down. Man. Am I supposed to hit it? Or do I fight enemies? You know what I'm saying? Do I try to stop the carriage? I don't even know if I can hit it. It might just be some kind of running sequence and I'm supposed to fight. She's a very fast runner. Women power. I like how there's just food just waiting for me on the ground there. It's funny. I would try to read that to you guys, but I feel like it pops up too fast. So just pause the video and uh, watch that. Did that freaking Pinocchio just like suplex me or whatever? <laughs> That's so funny. Is this like uh, kind of like a puppet master or is this like Pinocchio or something? Some kind of like sick version. I probably could have chosen another character, but you know me. Man, I'm like already like about dead again. But yeah, I played the entire Streets of Rage as a uh, Blaze. I can't resist, man. I'll go ahead and do that. Maybe it'll do a lot of damage to him. Yeah, I feel like. It might be because it's an arcade game, but I feel like you take so much damage in this. They want you to, so you just keep pumping in quarters, but uh, I can pump in as many as I want. See, when I beat a boss, you know, I kind of think I'm safe, and I just kind of scroll over, and it's the end of the level, but... They might just be like little mini bosses. I don't know what that stinger thing is. I wonder if that's uh that means I get a special or something. Rip. I like how those zombies were just standing there waiting on me. I'm trying to go, but you keep giving me enemies. Quit dinging at me. Yeah, you die so much in this game. I'm glad I have uh, infinite continues. Is he trying to puke on me? I will crush. That's not what you said. You said crush all intruders. Okay, so now I gotta fight some golem guy. Okay, that was not fair. I was punching you. Man, I get stunned too. This isn't Street Fighter, come on. You done got your cheap hit on me. I'm trying to like walk up and grab him. Like, you know, approach him from like the top or the bottom. I thought he was going to like splash on top of my face, so I just went ahead and did that. That like uses up all my freaking health too, I noticed. So that's like a, a last ditch effort, I guess.
go ahead and use it. <laughs> I just came back. I mean, I, oh, it takes off a little bit of health. It doesn't take off all of it. No, well, that should have. At least I have, like, I guess I have infinite continues, it seems like, as long as I uh, pump in quarters, so to speak. That's one way to deal with them. I always hate ads, like, in these games. Like, in any game. Like, I'm just trying to fight the boss mono e mono, and they gotta do some kind of shady shit where they summon a bunch of stuff, and they distract me, and I gotta fight them instead. Do I get to beat up a car? No. Okay, that's weird. Uh oh, it's like whack-a-mole. I got it. I thought I was gonna get to like beat up a car or something like Street Fighter for some reason. That's kind of funny though. They just come out of the ground. Why can't like the whole game be like that? They just come out of the ground. And I just kick them. Look, there's his castle. So I can read that. It's only like one little sentence. The other stuff, it seemed like it had like a bunch of words and it just went too fast for me. Why is there uh, like people hanging upside down in the... Is he doing like exercises? Like why is he hanging upside down? I notice these levels don't seem very long either. Oh, what in the world? You look like you would be a boss, but you're not. Oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, this is uh, really, uh, aside from the fact that you die so super fast in this game, I think this is a pretty cool beat em up. I can't help it. If, even if it takes my health off, it don't matter. Because that's about how much health would come off of me if I was actually legit trying to fight all them enemies at one time. So, that's just how I feel about it. Equivalent exchange. Dang it. I was wanting to get that food. You know what? I'll do my special, then I'll grab the food. There we go. How you like that? Man. I want to try to grab him and throw him, but I don't think I can with this guy. There we go. I don't know if you can throw him off the edge. I don't think so, but that would be pretty cool. I love how <laughs> in any game, like, that's a beat em up they always seem to have like an elevator sequence where you just fight tons of enemies. It's like, where are they all coming from? They all have like this sequence, I swear. Okay, we done. I will not let thee pass. Is that the sword talking to me? Get out of that Halloween costume and put up your dukes. See? This game's Halloween themed. I told you. Oh man, that sucked. I thought I could like pick it up and throw it. I just scoot it? That's kind of lame. This guy looks like he would be an end boss, but uh... I wonder if he's like just a mini boss before another boss. I mean, that elevator scene was kind of long. So maybe the elevator scene was kind of like the mini boss or something. No! Figured I'd use that before I was gone anyway. Oh, I thought I was going to have to fight Sora there for a second. Okay, maybe he's not the end boss, so we're going to have two bosses per stage. Now the pictures are coming at me. I just got killed by a picture, guys. Guys and gals, I should say. I say guys all the time. I say guys for everything. Like I, like I do with dudes.
I can't see you. You're off screen. Man, I knew that picture was going to come out. I was swinging, but it didn't matter. Oh, you got more health, I guess. At least these knife guys aren't too bad. Like in other games, they usually just walk toward you and poke you. It's so annoying. Oh! Uh. Bad gummit. Way to tear me up. This level seems, uh longer than uh, the previous ones. I thought I'd be at the next boss by now. But some of them are kind of like back to back it seems like. Here we go. Here's the next boss. Or not. See, I thought I had a pattern, but I guess I don't. This game's just full of surprises. I like how the go thing's just like constantly like popping up. Usually it doesn't do it until you beat all the enemies, but it's just like, go, 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 go. It's like, no, man, I'm still fighting. Come on. Give me a break. I think the other ones like died before I got to do that. So I had like, what, one or two of them that I hit with it instead. My health was down low anyway, so. Yes, I'm going to do away with you. Yeah, she called you a wimp. <laughs> Did I just stick him in the ground? I just stuck, what is this, Dracula in the ground? Oh, come on. You can't stop me in my 69 continues. There, see, I put them in more. Put in more uh, coins or whatever you want to call them. Fake coins. Oh, it's ad phase time. That's with every boss and every game ever made. Why don't I get ads? Why don't I mean yes, if I had friends, I could play this three player. But I have no friends. But then I would have ads like they do. Then I could be cheap. But I don't know. Then again, sometimes it's uh actually harder with more people because uh some games will up the difficulty. Alright, well. I beat him. Wasn't too bad, now what? Okay, I didn't know what was happening there for a second. Stage three clear. I think there's seven stages, I'm not sure. Even if you destroy me, you'll never be able to close the portal to the kingdom of darkness. Only a fool says never. So, uh, what do you guys think about this game so far? Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, comment down below. What is your favorite beat em up? I love beat em up games, and there's a lot of them out there that I've never even seen before, even played. Uh, there's a friend of the channel. His name is Dingy Gamer. He's pretty awesome. He showed me a couple of fighting games here recently. Be sure to go check out his uh, YouTube. I'll link it in the description. He's a pretty cool YouTuber, and he plays uh, all kinds of games on his channel. But uh, here recently, he's been playing a couple of awesome beat 'em ups you should check out. And I just did I just eat soup off the ground? You think you can I won't allow you to me? seal up the portal. Okay. Um. Are they, are they sharing health? Like, what is this? I don't, uh... I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, I guess they both take damage. I didn't get it at first. It seemed like, I mean, it's not going down very fast, though. Wow, I just got owned. 
Damn it. Okay, stop it. These guys are massacring me. See, this is why I like to play with friends, because this would, this would help out a lot. Okay, I like to see that red down there. It means I'm getting close. Oh, cool. At least I got that off. I thought I was going to be stunned and get beat up again. Man. Imagine playing this in an arcade and, like, you only had, like, a dollar to spend or something. Maybe play, like, once or twice. Just had to keep putting in money to beat the game. I never done that. Like, I played games a lot, like arcades. So I miss arcades, by the way, but um, I never did put in like a whole lot of money to like beat a game, except for maybe, I think Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat's the only game that I actually beat uh, in the arcade, because I was pretty good at it. And it's a fighting game, so you only got like so many people until you get to the end anyway. The portal is still, better find the other one, hurry. Some of these levels seem long and some of them seem pretty short. But I think I'm going to end this episode here because it might be getting a little bit long. But I think this game's pretty cool and I'm going to finish off in a later episode. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. And as always, I will see you in the next one.